Please stand for a moment of silence and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Parkland. Today is Wednesday, December 6th. It is a day six and an A schedule. I'm Owen Fainel. And I'm Allie Frederich. Welcome back to Parkland TV. Kutztown with Percy the Camel and it's hump day. Percy, what do you have to say about that? Thanks Percy, happy hump day Parkland. Calling all students interested in giving their very own TED Talk. The TED Ed Club is hosting a TEDx event and needs you. Applications are being accepted through Friday, December 8th. See Mrs. Litzenberger in C246 if you have any questions. Key Club is hosting its annual Minute to Win It competition on Monday, December 11th at 7.30 p.m. in the main gym. Volunteers should arrive at 6.30 and teams should arrive at 7.15, so the event can start promptly at 7.30. Come out to support the Key Club and cheer on your favorite team. All proceeds will benefit the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Operation Smile Club will be holding a meeting today after school in room C210. They will be discussing their upcoming toy drive along with hearing from a guest speaker. All are welcome. Interested in, in a night of choral singing and holiday cheer? The Parkland Corral Winter Concert is on Sunday, December 10th at 7 p.m. at Neff's UCC. Admission is free. The Political Science Club will be hosting the Parkland Model UN Conference on Saturday, December 9th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The event costs $10 and will be held in room C200. Sign up on the Poli Sci Schoology page. No prior experience is needed. The junior high wrestling team is currently searching for a male ninth grader that weighs between 170 and 190 pounds. If you are interested in being a part of the team, please see Coach Kiko in B205 for more information. Today is Philly Pretzel Wednesday. Make sure to get yours at all lunches today. Philly pretzels, one of my mom's favorite things. Every chance you get, let's get two dollars on top of it. Every Wednesday. Wednesday. Every chance you get. Wednesday. Two dollars. So please, come to the cafeteria today. Don't forget, be nice if you had some tips. Oh wait, yes we do. Chocolate frosting. Vanilla. Frosting. Honey, honey mustard sauce. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. In sports news, boys wrestling crushed East Stroudsburg North 57-18. Great job. Tonight, girls and boys basketball will play William Allen, girls at home at 7, and boys away at 7. Good luck, teams. Make sure to follow our YouTube and social media at Parkland TV Film and check out our website, parklandtvfilm.org, for updates on Church in the Week, broadcasts, and exclusive content. I'm Owen Fainel. And I'm Allie Frederich. Have a great day, Parkland. Now over to Worth the Watch. I'm Kira Finkel. And I'm Taryn Merrick. This, this is Worth the Watch. Today's movie is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. We'll be writing the plot, character, sound, visuals, and originality in the film. Each category gets a popcorn bucket, or not. First up is the plot. So we really like the plot of this movie, and yes, we mean the actual plot, and not just Coriolanus Snow. But because they had a lot of plot to put in and work with from the original book, they did a great job at including most of it. Unfortunately, they had to cut out some details, like with all book-to-movie adaptations, but we think they did a better job than this than most other book-to-movie adaptations. POV Percy Jackson. So because of this, we are giving it the bucket. Now, for characters, we really liked how they portrayed Lucy Gray in the movie. She had such a well-written and complex character in the book, and I think they really translated that well to the big screen. We were a little bit disappointed with their transition on Coriolanus though, since he was the main character whose point of view we get in the book, and I feel like the audience lost a lot of his motivations throughout the transition from book to screen. 
We liked the characters, but feel like it could have been a bit better written so the new audience who didn't read the book could truly understand who he was. However, because we loved all the other characters so much, we're giving it the bucket. And the soundtrack of this movie is so good. I know I personally have been bumping and bopping to this soundtrack 24-7 since its release. The mix of music that we saw in the original Hunger Games movie with the more folksy, Appalachian sounding style with Lucy Gray and the Covey were blended super well. They included some great subtle references to the original trilogy for the OG audience as well, like Katniss's themes playing while Lucy mentions the plant Katniss. So we're giving it the bucket. We liked the visuals in this movie because they were very nostalgic for the arguably best time in modern dystopia, the 2012 era, but we were really hoping that they gave it a more 2023 twist. The CGI on the rainbow snakes, though, were really good and got that creepy but beautiful vibes of the Capitol across very well. However, we aren't going to give it the bucket. And lastly, we have originality. We really enjoyed how they portrayed the Capitol visually. The architecture was reminiscent of the original series, but also they built on that using the book's description and their own ideas to make something super unique and cool, so we're giving it the bucket. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes got four out of five buckets, making it worth the watch.